Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with the mods list. <laughs> this is actually Stray from the Future. Uh, I realized after I had gotten done recording, I hadn't shown a mod list yet. So uh, I'm figuring I'll just tack it on at the beginning of the episode. Then you'll see me properly recorded after this. So, uh, once the mod list loads up, which should be sometime this century, there we go. Uh, we got the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition, uh, you know, main patch to fix all the other bullshit. Uh, the survival patch, which we'll be selecting in a moment whether or not you want me to do the survival mode or not, because it is available to me. Uh, the True Storm Special Edition. Uh, the Parthenax Dilemma. Guard Dialogue Overhaul which definitely fixes a lot of quality of life things when it comes to them actually talking to you. Better Claws and Gauntlets. This is more for Khajiit, which we are playing again. I know. You guys will love it. Trust me. The Legendary 90. Um, for some reason, this doesn't work. I don't know why it doesn't work, but it is what it is. Um, when you reset a skill with Legendary it i guess make the skill legendary uh, i guess i should say to make grammar work uh it's supposed to go to 90 but for some reason it still goes to 15 i'm going to look into why that's still going but uh i might just get rid of that entirely because it doesn't seem to work anyway um the knapsack retexturing knapsacks and satchels will be retextured through this mod uh expanded gemstones which is 200 extra gemstones in the game that are really just lootables that you can sell later. Um, that's really all it is. It doesn't get implemented in smithing in any way, but it gives you something to collect and have cool little things if you want. Uh, me, I'm enough of a nerd <laughs> that I just kind of want, you know, cool things to collect, so I'll probably indulge in that. Ours and Metallica. That's what I've been saying. <laughs> Or meaning to say, I say Ars Technica because I'm an idiot, but I meant Ars Metallica. I was thinking the wrong thing because um, I'm an idiot. Uh, this is just basically some quality of life fixes for smithing. Let's you smith, uh, rather, melt down weapons and other things you collect and remake them based off the base materials that they were used with like iron swords iron axes iron armor you just smelt it back down to iron and then you're able to use that iron freely um ours metallica smelting fix also allows you to use the ore uh that you don't have unlocked yet for smithing uh the basic ours metallica um mod made it so you have to have the perk to be able to futz with the ore uh, and smelt it down into bars. This fixes that so that doesn't actually become a problem. Shiny creatures just allows some creatures to be made shiny. And then if you grab their fur, it is a very valuable, very special sort of fur or uh, hide or whatever. And you can sell that for a lot of fucking extra scratch. Again, another cool little collecting thing that is kind of cool. So I want to play with it because I'm an idiot. Uh, expanded silver weaponry integration. That is a mod that apparently no longer exists. But I had it installed before it got taken off. So um, it basically lets you uh, futz around more with the silver weaponry you get later. Uh, during the companion's quest line. Improved Bandits is basically improves them uh, entirely, just ups their game so that way they're actually kind of a threat. Uh, it upgrades their gear, their stats, their perks, and they basically play by the same rules as us, as it says in the summary. Um, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool to have a proper, you know, something to threaten you when you're, especially in the higher levels, um, something that can threaten you. Uh, in combat rather than just like oh you're just gonna swing at you and then you just they have to take about an hour to actually bring your health down enough for them to actually kill you 
whereas you can just kill them in one strike. This actually makes it a lot more of an integral, higher level thing for bandits. It's actually kind of cool. Uh, masculine Khajiit fixed uh, textures, rather. <laughs> masculine Khajiit fixed textures, rather. I can't fucking talk. I used it all in the episode. That's why I'm an idiot. Um, this is the gray cat, the gray tabby. Uh, it allows my stripes to be shown in my uh, character create. So uh, I actually look a little bit like a tiger, uh, which is kind of nice. Mortal enemies. This adjusts the uh, combat a little bit. It removes the uh, tracking of the player, rather tracking on the player when in combat. And also basically makes it so it's no longer about who's sponging up more hits it's about spacing reactions tactics and positioning it kind of makes the combat a little bit more uh a little bit more about tactics and it's kind of nice uh the better the woodsman friend i just kind of liked having the woodsman's friend uh battle axe being kind of cooler so it makes it so it's kind of cooler it's not necessarily you know make or break but it's kind of cool uh glorious well I, I thought i skipped one glorious dwarven metal just makes it a little shinier makes it makes that stuff look a little new especially when you go into the dwarven uh, cities you actually see the metal being rather new on most of the enemies as well the perk points at skills levels 50, 75, or 100. That's one of the little cheatsy doodle perks I was mentioning. It gives you a free perk point based on hitting those levels. And it's also retroactive if you add it to your save later on. Saber cats respawn. It just makes it so they respawn after you kill them for one reason or another. Uh, it kind of alleviated my uh, guilt about taking them out if they uh, went after me for any reason because um, then they'll come right back instead of just not being there anymore uh, steel orcish weapons just makes them look more like steel uh, I'm still on a little bit of the fence on that um, I might get rid of that at some point it probably won't change much of anything if I do that but yeah, because it, it can be installed at any, uninstalled rather, at any time just because it's a retexture. That's about it. That's all it changes. Uh, the Skyrim fur colors, you'll see me um, whirring through that when I'm changing, or at least attempting to change the color of my cat's nose. Uh, it just adds a whole bunch of different colors that you can do with uh, Khajiit. That's really all it does. That's all it changes. Not much else more than that. Uh, plate mail retexture uh it changes the uh plate armor so the cloth in between the plates is actually male that's actually more realistic and i think looks better uh hearthfire multiple adoptions allows you to adopt more children because you know you feel bad for all the little orphans out there and whatnot especially if you make a couple of them. So uh, you try to adopt them into your family and then try to give them a good life. This allows you to just adopt more, depending on which house you have. Uh, Inigo doesn't really need any introduction. It's a uh, award-winning custom-voiced companion. Uh, I don't end up getting to him very often because Riften, where he starts, is a bit of a pain in the ass to get to. But it is, it is a pretty good mod. It's a pretty good mod, I'll say, when I do get to him. Uh, populated Skyrim Civil War, which is what I think caused the problems in the main recording. You'll see in a second. Um, it basically adds a whole bunch of uh, patrols and whatnot to uh, the world. And it also causes a whole bunch of... Uh, at scale sort of combats in the world to appear in general you know, normalized areas uh, generalized sort of locations um, it's mainly on the outskirts of holds and whatnot you'll see those a lot and uh, it actually makes the civil war seem like it is actually a civil war 
instead of just, you know, oh, you hear about it, but you don't really see it doing much of anything. You actually see it now. Um, that's probably what caused the problems in the video. I will let you find out <laughs> what those problems are, but it adds patrols to the game as well, and that's probably, probably what started that. Uh, immersive patrols also does that. Uh, this actually might be the majority of the problem. Um, I don't entirely know, but, uh, it apparently adds a reasonable amount of other patrols to the game, so it could be that. So, I don't know. I'll find out in a bit. Uh, katana crafting just lets me craft my, <laughs> my katanas because I'm a weeb, so it just lets me make those. That's all it does. Diverse Imperial Soldiers, it lets uh, the Imperials be a little bit more diverse in their camps and in general uh, around the world. If you end up running into Imperial Patrols, they are made up of different Imperial uh, Soldiers. Some of them are Khajiit, some of them are Argonian, some of them are Elves, some of them are Orcs. You'll see a lot more than just the normal Nord, Redguard, Imperial, and Breton Soldiers. And, uh, there will also be female soldiers as well, which makes sense, because generally there are females in the army, um, at least in the world of Elder Scrolls, so I don't know why it wasn't like that in the game. Now it changes that. The more kill moves and decapitations, which basically allows you to have actual more kill cams that, you know, are in the middle of combat on top of letting you decapitate enemies without actually needing the perk to uh, be able to do that. So there you go. The Khajiit follower, I actually have not seen her very often. She doesn't have the usual Khajiit voice because she is not voice acted. She's just basically taking one of the standard women voices in the game and just gets applied to her. Uh, so there's that. Gemstone Recovery allows us to recover gemstones from uh, little jewelry doodads that we pick up. Or if it's just ones we make, we can just scrap the metal from the ring entirely and just take the, uh, take the gem if we want. It's not really necessary, but it's something we can do. Hello Darkness, whenever I die, that'll play. I guess I, I'm an idiot like that. Uh, pastel map markers. This changes the map markers uh, in the map and on your uh, little compass to be colored. I, I honestly think it's a nice little cute touch to the whole thing. Enhanced blood textures. That's a given. Better blades armor. Just upgrades the armor so it actually looks and feels like it actually contributes uh, to the game rather than just yeah, meh. it's just not really good enough and then you just toss it to the side a better shaped weapons makes the weapons in game look like they are actually realistic and can be used uh, in real life rather than just big hulking metal paddles <laughs> essential horses makes it so horses can't die it's kind of nice uh, it will also alter shadow mare and frost apparently uh, I only just read that description. So, it, it's pretty nice. Bandolier lets you have uh, little bandolier uh, pouches on your chest and your hips. Uh, it basically gives you a whole lot of options when it comes to making bags. I also have the backpack uh, creative or as a creation club thing. So, that's also available to me. Basically, we'll never we're never going to be suffering for uh, ca uh, carrying capacity, is what I'm saying. So we will sh we should be good for my hoarder tendencies. <laughs> uh, stronger companions just makes the companions stronger. That's really all it does. It just makes them actually feel like they are strong instead of just uh, thugs that say they're cool when they're not. Um, Khajiit will follow my personal favorite mod so far. Adds four fully voiced, marriageable Khajiit followers. 
And uh, there's only one of them I haven't personally met yet. Uh, when we do, I will let you know who. But uh, most of them are pretty easy to meet, I'll say. Get more dead followers. <laughs> no more dead followers, rather. <laughs> uh, let you make them essential if you want. Or make them die if you want. That's up to you. Uh, you can make little amulets to control that function. Uh, increased follower limit lets you have as many as you want. Up to, apparently, 100. Immersive citizens. That changes the AI. So it will actually look like the NPCs are part of a city. They're part of a living, breathing thing. They'll go out and do things. They'll you know, talk about things that you otherwise wouldn't be able to hear because the base game didn't have this implemented for whatever reason. So, there you go. Diverse Guards of Skyrim. This just makes the guards more diversified, uh, more women uh, in the role, more, uh, yeah, more racial diversity, that sort of thing. Unleveled Lists basically makes uh, the items be their strongest version if they were a part of a leveling list or where if you were at a certain level when you found it it would be this strength this strength this strength whatever it just basically says fuck you it's as strong as it's going to be quit playing with that bullshit because it is kind of a stupid thing uh 50 more perk points basically every two levels you would receive an additional another little cheaty doodle thing it's just kind of cool i like it makes it easier to build a strong character i personally feel so there you go black mage armor it's it's kind of just making it so you can have stronger armors uh, that look cool so uh yeah that's enough for me especially because they're in black because i'm a goth kid basically at heart that's kind of how it goes Anyway, uh, the Rich Merchants of Skyrim makes it so they have a 1,000... 10,000 gold? Yeah, it's 10,000 gold. Uh, storefront allows you to have your own little storefront. I don't typically do that, but uh, it is an option, I guess. Belt Fastened Quivers just basically moves the quiver from the back to the belt. That's all it does. Khajiit Elven and Glass Helmets makes it so your hair can still be visible uh, around the helmet. Uh, since we're, we're going to be doing the Black Mage armor anyway, I probably won't be doing that that often. But it is an option for everyone else who would be wearing that. I probably will get rid of this mod. Uh, haste. This changes a lot of weird, off-putting problems in the game. So that way it's more realistic. It changes a lot of things, and it's kind of cool. The whole list is right here. If you want to read it, it's all right there. It changes a lot of things. It makes the whole thing feel very realistic and makes the whole thing kind of fun. So this is my very go-to mod if you want to have a realistic-ish experience with Skyrim. That's the mod to go with. Because you child Maisha... Uh, they will, they just sound like a regular Skyrim child, but, um, they are an adoptable Khajiit child, who you can find at Crabber's Shanty. The color patches remover, it's just for those weird, goofy color patch goof-ups that the game made around, like, uh, da -da -da -da, the lumber mills and all of that. If there was a weird color patch that just is sitting there, this fixes it. Standardized weights. This is really going to help my hoarding tendencies because it will change the uh, weight values of everything in the base game. So that way it's a little bit more realistic and also a little less than the crazy amounts that they seem to want to put it as. So that fixes that. Capable horse, ha, horse, <laughs> capable house carls. Uh, house carls are a little bit more capable now, 
and they properly level up with you. Where Beasts of Skyrim Growl, it's a overhaul for uh, Where Beasts if you decide to become one. It's a significant overhaul and it's kind of cool. Uh, archery Tweaks, it changes the way that arrows react to the world. It's pretty nice and it makes it far more realistic while also still, you know, usable and playable. So yeah, that's all the mods. I will see you in the main game. See you in a bit. Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with the first episode of Skyrim Special Edition. Oh, that gave away one of the mods. <laughs> well, uh, first episode of the special edition of Skyrim. With mod support and on the Series X. Which is one of the best hardware purchases I think I've made in a while. Well, that also gives away that mod. Thank you. Any other mods you want to give up? Telling the rest of the fucking viewer base that I have them on? Hey, you. You're finally away. Yeah, I am. You were trying to cross the border, right? Yes. You walked right into that Imperial ambush. Same as us. And that thief over there. Uh-huh. Damn you Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until that, you... That, uh... Empire was nice <laughs> and lazy. <laughs> that deer is a little confused. Could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. True, yeah. You there, probably. You and me. We shouldn't be here. The storm cloaks the Empire wants. Yeah, is it? We're all brothers and sisters in vines now, thief. True. Shut up back there. You shut up. What's wrong with him? Eat my butt. Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. <laughs> is he just standing there now? No, <laughs> you were the leader of the rebellion. But if they captured you, that's really weird. Oh God. Okay. Where well. are they taking us? I don't know where we're going. That, uh, that is something. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, what village are well, you from, um, Steve? Some of, Why do you care? Some of these things I didn't notice thoughts. the last time. Rorikstead. I'm, I'm from Rorikstead. Yeah. General Talia, sir. The headsman is waiting. Good. Let's get this over with. Oh, there he is. Sure. Mara, Debella, Kinnereff, Akatosh, Divines, please help I me. I don't think you're holding that basket right there, my lady. <laughs> no, that's a bucket. Okay. Look at no him. wonder. General Tully is the military governor. And it yep. looks like the Thalmor are with him. That there? Damn elves. Mm -hmm. I bet they had something to do with this. Probably. You, you look wide-eyed and scared, which you should. You are going to die. Not the way you expect, but in a way. Mm -hmm. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Yeah. Wonder if Elod is still making that mead with juniper berries mixed in. Yep, they are. Follower? I don't have a follower. When I was what? A boy, imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. What the fuck was that about? Follower can't accompany. I don't have one. Okay, so there's some there's still some bugs. There's still some bugs in this version. Hamming. Oh, I, I know a place where you can see him later. Why do you think? End of the line. There's the headsman. And there's the witch who wants to kill everyone here. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. Well, I mean no, They'll be We're waiting rebels. still. Or at least me. Face your death with some courage, thief. Mm -hmm. You've got to tell them we worked with you. This is a mistake. Shut up. Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time. Empire loves their damn lists. That they do. Ulfric Stormcloak. Y'all are. And those winning. savings just lightning quick. It has been an honor. Love it. Jarl Ulfric. Raylof of Riverwood. You? Lokir of Rorikstad. 
No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. Uh, yeah, they can, and they will. Yeah, about that. Oh, they're not gonna kill me. You bitch. Wait, you there? Running Step bitch. Forward. Yes. Hello. Who are you? I am a cat man. I can just do that right off the bat. Okay. And uh, as you can tell from one of the mods, the uh, pattern is a little different. This is the gray tabby uh, cat mod, or technically it looks more like tiger stripes. Tabbies are basically like little miniature tigers. So that is what we got there. I'm going to go with that preset. Uh, change the skin tone to about this color. There we go. Up the weight, so I'm a big beefy cat. Uh, change the complexion. No, change the dirt. Nah. Um, dirt color doesn't really matter. Take all the scars off. There we go. The war paint is good as the way it is, but we're gonna change that to brown. There we go. That way it matches Stray Cat's uh, colors when it comes to that. Uh, lengthen the nose a little bit and it not that way this way and that way there we go good jaw width is a little bit jaw height is a little lower jaw forward is back a little bit knock down the cheekbone height just a little width just a little cheek color no left line's new cheek color no Nose color, no, I think. I don't know if there's a color I can change it to that meshes better. Uh, there is not. As you can tell, I also have a whole bunch of color mods for Khajiit Fur, which I did. None of them really match too well. So we'll just go without on that one. Um, neck color. We have to change the color of the fur of the war paint there there we go forehead color new uh, okay now the eyes the shape is okay the color is not there we go better not deep green like i would hope but unfortunately i haven't seen any mods that change high color yet so there we go uh eye height mm, a little lower there we go Eye width, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, the brow, that's fine. The mouth, yeah, that's fine. It's fine enough. Look around. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> okay. Um, hair. Go with this because I can't find a spiked hair color or rather hair shape. Facial hair, no. Facial hair, nope. Uh, hair color, uh, mine's more of an auburn, sort of brown. I guess that's close enough. Okay. Alright. Now that that's all done, finish a name as Stray Cat. There we go. Just a stray cat from elsewhere. It's all you need to know. You with one of the trade caravans, Khajiit? Your kind always seems to find trouble. Yeah, we do. Captain, what should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. You were sliding By a little bit. Orders, Captain. I'm sorry. You better be. We'll make sure your men are turned to elsewhere. Yeah, Follow you Captain better. Prisoner. You son of a bitch. At least he was apologetic over the whole thing. Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. Very true. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos, and now the Empire is going to put you down and restore the peace. Yeah, you tell him. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. 
Yes, General Tullius. Mm -hmm. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to Ethereus, blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. Learn our as you wish. He just wants Come to speed on. this up I for me. Because I'm the one recording. <laughs> what was that? What the My ancestors are smiling at the what? Materials. You say the same. What? Freedom or Sovereign God! Um um huh? what you what just happened <laughs> what the fuck just happened <laughs> I can't turn around and look at it as he was in the what the fuck just happened what the what what I, I want to see what's going on here what the fuck is this? What in the fuck is? Okay. All right. Well, um. What in oblivion is that? What do you see? Ah, uh, mod shenanigans. Okay. Uh oh. Well, at least this, uh. This is fixed the problem. Okay, off I go. Yeah! True. Okay. What the fuck happened here? What the fuck? I gotta think that was a mod conflict in some way. He's mad at me. What the fuck is this? They're all mad at me. Legends don't burn down villages. What the fuck happened? We need to move now. Up through the tower. Let's go. They're all mad at me. This way, friend. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? <laughs> all right, all right. I'll follow what the game set out for me. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. Oh boy. Yep. Still alive, prisoner. Keep close to me if you want to stay that way. Yeah. yeah I'm trying. the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. God's guide you, Hadbar. Uh, all right. Jesus Christ. I don't know what happened. I don't know stay what happened, but that is hilarious. <laughs> he was about to get his head chopped off. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking gets up, grabs fucking iron axe, and starts hacking and slashing. What the fuck? Well, at least it, at least it kept the uh, basket empty for my head. <laughs> I guess. All right. <laughs> that was. <laughs> All right. Well, that was broken, but uh. All right, Hadvar, let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're going with Hadvar because the up. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. Was that really a dragon? Because of what we can get through his family, as opposed to uh, we should keep Rayloff's family. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There we go. There you go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. At I'm the risk. See if I can find something for these bones. Fair enough. Find something for those bones. You better get some gear. Yeah, I will. Just a second, though. I'm gonna be wandering around. 
Grabbing what I can. What I want. See if one of these chests has a llama for you. Yeah. I know one of them does. I just don't care to look for it right now. I just want to grab this. Holds of Skyrim, actually. Grab that. You better get some gear. I'm working on it. Yep. Butt ass. There we go. And then another one there. Favorite it. Good. Get that armor on. Give that sword a few swings. Yep. Let's keep moving. Ah, ha, ha. Gets me started on dual wielding right away. Which is also important. Because that's kind of Stray Cat's thing. Aha! There we go. Onward we go. Ready or just sheath. There we go. We need to get moving. That dragon is tearing up the whole thing. That is true. Just give me a minute. I'm out of breath. Hear that? Storm cloaks. Maybe we can reason with them. Maybe. We'll try. Hold on now. We only there? want to. Well, so much for uh, reasoning. Man, the swings are slow. Booyah. Also, that's a mod as well. I get more. Uh, kill cams like that. Whoops, sorry, Advar. It's a bad swing on my part. Whoops. That, that was all bad swings on my part as well. Hey! And beheaded. Damn. Damn. Alright. And I need some if I can get that door open. armor for my hands. So there we go. Yeah, these are all good for now. There we go. Good shit. And I'm going to take some of these cabbages. I can take all the cabbages. God damn it. There we go. God damn it. God damn it. There we go. Some potatoes. Okay. Didn't know that was there. I saw them. <laughs> I saw the bag and barrel. And I was like, ooh, I should check. There's something there. A little bit. Oh! Hey then. Well, so much for that route. Damn, that dragon doesn't give up easy. No, it does not. What are you doing? Time to end this. There we go. Is it time to end the little game, huh? Was it though? <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. There we go. Man, the combat seems to be slower than usual. You can't beat me. Are you sure about that? I did it just fine. <laughs> See if you can find some potions. Might come in handy. True, might come in handy. I'm gonna take all of this though. I want the garlic. There we go. Thank you. Give me the garlic. Elves here. Give me all of it. I want all of it. All of it. All right, let's grab that and that. Grab that. Uh, anything in the cupboard? Yes. I'll always take gold. Gold is always a good thing to be grabbing. Yes. All right, and we'll grab all of that for sure. Large sack. Actually, yeah, I'll take the green apples. Why not? I do not need the flour. I do need the potatoes. I like potatoes. Okay. Nothing there. And, oh, there's a couple things here. That and that. And that brings me up to five and two. I could have sworn there was more. Could have sworn there were more. Hmm. I swear there was more. I just, I might be remembering later on, though. So, okay, let's get moving. Done, then. Yep. This way. Let's get going. Murdering more bitches. Let's do it. The torture room. Gods, I wish we didn't need hear that. Are, are you sure you don't? Come on. Whoa, okay. Well, I'll let you take care of him, because I don't like this guy either. Oh, 
Oh. Just in time. These boys seemed a bit upset at how I've been entertaining their comrades. Well, I wonder why. Don't you even know what going on? A dragon is attacking him. A dragon. Please, don't make up nonsense. It's not as exactly nonsense. Ooh, proper bracers. I'll replace my stuff with this for sure. Because it has just slightly more armor rating. Just very slightly, though. Uh, I think I'm good everywhere else, though. We'll get rid of the foot wraps and rough spun tunic, though. There we go. Although, come to think of it, I did hear some odd noises coming from over there. Did you now? I'm come actually going to take that. To get out of here. You have no authority over me, boy. Uh, he definitely does. I said the keep is under attack. Wait a second. Looks like there's something in this keep. I'm going to take... The iron mace from here too. Don't bother with it. Uh, the battle axe. Lost the key eight. Got the war hammer there. Oh fuck! That's all they have. See if you can get it open with some picks. Oh, I can do it. I can do that. Oh, maybe not this route. There we go. <laughs> sure. Perfect. All my friends, please. Now shut the fuck up. Grab what you can and let's go. Yep, will do. Got more magicka potions, that's for sure. And whoop, stoodle. Ha ha! It's up in the level while I do it. Also, I need to head back real quick. I should have grabbed their stuff while I was thinking of it, but I did not. Because Ars Technica is a mod that is very useful. As long as I collect we weapons in the early part, because then I can just melt them down. Melt them down into their base component, and then I have a whole bunch of iron on my person. At my disposal, even. There we go. Thank you. And not the Warhammer from you, but the sword from you. Yes. Okay. And did I grab the other sword in the other room? I don't think I did. I don't think I did. I'm double check and make sure I did not. Okay. Sure, I could come back and get it later, but why would I do that when I can do it right now? Just sprinting and running myself ragged. There we go. It's especially useful because you can turn the iron into lockpicks. And if you can make lockpicks, then you're golden for a good long time. You don't have to rely on finding them or uh, buying them. Just do it yourself. That bar isn't here, right? Ah, fuck you, dude. You're the worst dude ever. So fuck you. Alright, and the Torturer's Hood also has some armor. More than my current helmet. It is more than my current helmet. So, yeah, I did a good thing. Yay! Love it when I do good things. Like stealing from old crazy people. Ooh, I'll need that steel dagger too. I can make that into steel bars later. And I think I'm already wearing all that stuff, so it's fine. Wait, did I check that? I did not. Hey, there we go. Nah. Because I'd need two of those to make a single iron bar, and that's not worth the time or the aggravation. Ah! Fuck me. There we go. Lock picking up. Booyah. And then I can get actual stuff out of this guy. If I put it in the right spot. There we go. Just need to keep it up. Stupid ass. Hey! And then the coin purse. Amethyst? What? I also have that mod installed. Where I can just find random gemstones in my coin purses. Because I'll be getting a lot of cool shit 
when it comes to gemstones, because I have that mod installed. It's it's mainly there t as a really extra way to earn money, because on, there's no way you can use those gems in you know jewelry making, but they're kind of cool to have, kind of cool to collect some Where of them. Where in Oblivion are we supposed to go? Where's the way out? Just give me a minute. Let me think. How about I give you a minute to die, bitch? There we go. Fuck you. Come on, you little shit. Whoop. It knocked me sideways. There we go. There we go. Fuck you, dude. Haha! <laughs> what? I can behead early? That's part of the uh, kill cam mod. I can do beheadings really early on without having to have the perk for it. Haha! -ha. Take your shit. There we go. Take your... That's not what I meant to take. <laughs> now you're just sitting there naked. The ultimate humiliation. Okay. Take the mace. There we go. I knew I heard something. Yeah, you did. You did hear something. Bunch of bastards. Whoop. Still using their bow for some reason. There we go. Will you now? <laughs> You're really the only one in multiple pieces here, bud. <laughs> Alright. Let's take your arrows. Whoops, I want your arrows and your battle axe. Definitely want that. Alright. I'm about to sneeze. Give me a second. Okay. Sorry about that. That was a big ass sneeze. Okay. Quest list. Uh, yep, 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 yep. All the stuff we already know. Cool. Let's see where this goes. Yes, let's see where it goes. Haha. Haha. -ha. It goes this way. And the bridge is broken. Yeah, that's damn right. Very true. Coin purse. Apophyllite? What? What is that? Who knows? I can know. Because I can check. Apophyllite is this looking thing. This kind of cool looking gemstone here. Sells for 255. That ain't too bad. Alright. Ah, let's get going, motherfucker. I'm waiting on you. Usually not the case where I'm waiting on the AI. Are you moving? Are you moving, bro? Come on, let's go. And then... Uh, that doesn't go anywhere. No, it does not. I guess we're Calcite. Calcite? Calcite orange? Look at that. And it comes in multiple other colors, too. This one's just orange. And this is where the spiders are in. Let all y'all know the spiders are coming. Alrighty. Now we jump in and kill the bitches. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, the spiders are dead. They're all dead. What's next, giant snakes? Oh, uh, maybe. You don't know. We don't know nothing. Okay, I really should also read that Sparks book. There we go. Get that in my spell list. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then... Healing. There we go. Get straight. Does know a little bit of healing. It's not a lot. A little bit. Very little bit, really. And I think that was. Yeah. That's all I could loot. Alright, spiders are off screen. If you were wondering, for those of you who are scared to death of booters. Alrighty. 
Okay, there should be something over here that I can grab. There it is. Potion of health. There it is. Perfect. Hold up. There's a bear just ahead. It's a bear and a spooter. Okay, I didn't know there was a spooter there. Okay, sorry. Thought I was done with them. Just take it nice and slow and watch where you stay. Ooh. Got a whole bunch of fucking stuff there. You can take this boat. Like Briar Mead. Take your Briar surprise. Helmet. Go ahead. Follow your lead and watch your back. Fair enough. We will equip that. I just realized I didn't take the longbows off of Go those ahead. other bitches. I'll follow your bitches. lead and watch your back. Welp. A little too late now. Well, just so I can save those who don't like spiders, I'm just going to kill the spider real quick. Real quick. Real quick. Well, I mean, I was planning on doing sneaking. I just didn't expect the bear to also wake up. So. Okay. Okay. Well, spider's off screen, I guess. For now. I have no idea where it went. So it could pop up at any moment. So, uh, fair warning. But, it's gone for now. Find out in a second if it's gone for good or not. Which pisses me off because I wanted those fucking frostbite venoms because that plays into this the other like thing the, the other like mod I have there we are out into Skyrim proper and we make a decision here that quite frankly I'm still on the fence about if I want to do it in this playthrough or not so, I'm going to end it here for right now, and I'll let y'all in the comments make that decision for me. Uh, so, yeah, that will be your guys' contribution to this series. Uh, you will decide whether or not we do the survival mode or not. Survival will be adding the need to sleep, eat, and stay warm. Uh, it also adds as additional changes such as no fast travel, reduced carry weight, and leveling up only when I sleep. Uh, I already know how to play it. I've done it before. Um, in a... In just like a free play sort of on my own sort of experience. It adds challenges, but it also is just tedious. Uh, it's, it's far more tedious than, say, the, uh, hardcore mode in New Vegas. But, um, I don't know. I personally think that, uh, we could do survival mode. It will just add a little bit more, uh, painful, long trips, <laughs> in the whole game series and may may be construed as artificially padding for time um especially since i know what i'm doing with it but um that's up to you guys honestly if you want me to do that or not i'm just gonna leave that up to you personally i think it might be good content but that's just me so yeah, I'll leave that to you, and I will end this episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat, playing games and...
doing Skyrim once again because, well, I mean, I kind of wanted to do it again with all these mods involved. Uh, I do have uh, plenty of them that I want to show off because I think they're really fucking cool. But uh, that's about it, really. Um, also, uh, I will have a mod list at the uh, beginning of this episode uh, before we actually get into the meat of it. So, uh, yeah, you probably have already seen it, but for right now, I haven't recorded that bit yet, so I'll see you then. Anyway, this has been the one the only Stray Cat for you.